Drive through Benton or White counties, you may notice some wind turbines aren't turning. Experts say it shouldn't cause alarm. News Channel 18's Tiffany Dismore is live this evening at Meadow Lake Wind Farm. Tiffany, what's going on out there? Jeff, Gina, as you can see behind me, these wind turbines aren't. Uh, turning, and there's a lot of uh, different reasons why that could be. But just to the north here, these wind turbines are, and as I said, there's many uh, explanations as to why that is. To turn or not to turn, it's a question many wonder about wind turbines in White and Benton counties. Why are some turning and others aren't? The wind turbines may be fully installed, fully constructed, but they may not be connected to the grid. And producing power. Wind speed is also another factor in wind farms functioning. Director of the State Utility Forecasting Group Doug Gotham says the electrical network or grid where the energy goes could also be full, so turbines have to stop so the grid doesn't overheat. Cutting back on generation on one place and increasing generation at another. This can happen with wind, this can happen with uh, fossil fuel generation, um, and, and those types of things have, tend to happen more when electricity usage is the highest, so the hot humid days of the summer. There's another reason turbines may not be functioning. As you can see behind me, two are working and one isn't. That's because maintenance work is being done. Sometimes it's just on one turbine and other times it's the whole park. It's not uncommon to see one out of every 10 or one out of every 15 not turning for scheduled maintenance or preventive maintenance. The group Recite now is opposed to wind turbines coming to Tippecanoe County. Member Julie Parrish says these factors are just another reason she's opposed. Can't function when the wind is too strong, when the wind is too weak, um, the wind is gusty, things like that really inhibit energy production. But Gotham says the coal fired and gas fired plants don't operate at all times either. The shutdown with wind turbines is just more visible to people. If there is a, a drought and you can't get cooling water, you're going to shut off your coal fired power plant. If there's a maintenance uh, outage where something broke down and they have to shut it down and fix it, the coal plant's not going to operate. A little more on those wind speeds. Wind turbines can turn, and when they can't, eight to nine miles an hour is too slow for wind turbines to uh, spin, and then more than 60 miles an hour is too fast for wind turbines. Live from Meadow Lake Wind Farm in White County, Tiffany Dismore, News Channel 18.